Good morning everybody and welcome to Allen Family Firewood. We got a beautiful day out here and we're not going to waste it. I got up this morning and it was like 60 degrees out. That's, that hasn't happened for like since it's spring. So, And I think the high today is only supposed to get up to like 75. This is getting back into working weather. <laughs> so if it's working weather we might as well be working, right? I don't have the wood warden with me today. She's off getting stuff done. and. I got brother Andy with me and we're gonna get after a little bit of this wood. I've got I don't even know if there's a cord here. There might be a cord here on the ground of, of uh, all maple and we're gonna try and get that on the trailer and get it stacked. If we if we make it that far, maybe we'll jump over to something else, but you never know how far we're gonna make it. it it's after rain. You never know the way it's been going lately, so started splitting a little bit of wood yesterday and it just opened up forward like two inches of rain in four hours so um, we're gonna fire things up here and, and get after the wood pile do something different for a change Everything's up and running, so we're going to give this a shot. 
where the trail had tipped up, I couldn't go all the way up because the convey is in the way, but it's tipped up enough, so hopefully the wood's going to slide to the back a little bit for us. And uh, hey, if this works, maybe a third person's in order. We'll have to uh, get Karen down here. <laughs> We could be splitting and somebody could be on the back stacking as fast as we're splitting. I like that. We'll, we'll see how it goes. This is the first attempt at ever trying that. So I'm going to go fire up, get going on the splitter while my brother keeps going back and forth. Let's see how this all works.
my brother's coming along just nicely, stacking. He's doing double duty and getting it done, you guys. I'm impressed. This is working out good. We gotta do this more often. All right, let's get back and split. got the first part of it done we got a half a cord stacked up and uh, we're gonna shrink wrap it and get it moved over here in the pile and we'll start working on the second half cord I don't think I got enough cut up to make quite another half a cord but we're gonna keep at it it looks like I've got on the ground some really big rounds and I don't know if I'm gonna mess with those we'll see maybe if my brother helps me a little we can at least get him busted in half but I'm gonna put some shrink wrap around. I, I have to put a wrap around these these pallets, you guys, because when I pick them up, I've had them tip over, and it's no fun restacking. Stacking's bad enough. You have to do it twice. Really, no fun. So, let's see if we can get this thing moved around. All right, we'll get this picked up and uh, move it over there to those stacks. I think.
we get all the all the wood split that was cut up um, or at least all of it that was cut 16 inches so that's uh i'm trying to look over and see how my brother's making i don't he's still got some more on the trailer there we'll go over and get that loaded in and uh stacked onto a pallet and get that moved over i'm not sure what we're going to do after that uh we might just call it a wrap or we might go play on the sawmill for a little bit i've had an oak log sitting on the on the wood miser there for geez down near a month I'm supposed to get that sawed into some two by twelves for uh jim howe he's one of the tree services in the area that gives us uh free loads of wood so we got to get him taken care of he, he needed that quite a while ago so but i haven't tried the mill yet and i, I don't know how that's going to work uh, two by twelve an oak one probably a 12 footer is going to be an awful lot for my brother to handle and i don't think i'm even going to be able to grab an end of it maybe with my good hand i might be able to help him a little but we also got to be able to roll that log too and that thing's huge so let's uh i'll show you guys what things look like here we'll go check on my brother got things pretty well cleaned up here and now you just got to get somebody with a chainsaw and well, somebody that can run one at least and come over and get some cotton done see how andy's doing He's got a couple stacks on there. Getting there. Getting there. Bring everything right down. There's still some in the trailer. I don't think there's enough to make a whole nother stack, but be uh, almost a full cord today. It's uh, not not uh, super productive, you guys, but it's a cord. It's been split and stacked, so. It's something. It's uh, it's better than sitting home on the couch, right? <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. For uh, for any of you guys that are new that are watching, the reason that we stack onto these pallets. Um, I get it, it's a little bit different than the way everybody else does it. Most everybody splits it and into a dump trailer and they bring it out somewhere and then they, then they restack it. Um, then when it's time to deliver it, they, they pick it back off of the stack and they throw it in the dump trailer. Well, I'm lazy guys. <laughs> That's all there is to it. So we stack it onto these pallets because it's got to get stacked to dry. And then when it's actually time to deliver it, I pick these pallets up with a tractor. We put a ratchet strap around both sides. And then I come right up to the side of the dump trailer here and just dump the whole load a half quart at a time right into the trailer. So, I mean, it literally, I, I can load two quart on this trailer in probably 20 minutes. Um, it just works really, really good that way. So, saves me a lot of time and a lot of energy <laughs> it's got to get stacked anyway so I just don't want to stack it twice or handle it twice it just works good that's all less dress yeah Pretty good. Right on the money. What are the odds of that happening? Next to none. Nice. I'll uh, I'll pick this pallet up, pull it back. We'll put some shrink wrap around it. And we'll set it over in the stack. How's that? Works a whole lot better when you get two good hands to do that with. 
didn't uh, work so well for me last time, but. I got 10, not nine. Yeah. That'll just keep it from falling out, you guys, because just sitting over there in the stack, sometimes these piles will fall over um, just because they start drying and then they settle down and they'll tip. But this prevents that. And when we're moving it around, don't go down low, Andy. Stay up the same height. It's just three wraps all the way around and that'll work good. Just, just to hold it in, that way when we get moving it around, it don't fall over and nothing worse than having to pick up a load of wood off the ground you've already stacked and restack it again one more trip around round and round the merry-go-round <laughs> doing a good job there you go just uh, rip it off and kind of wrap it around a board no come back you can rip it off right there Set the wrap up there, then come back to the board you started on. Yeah. And just go around the board. That's all. No, go around the other side. Just like you were wrapping. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That should do the trick. Alright, let's go get this put over. I'm going to get this set over there with the rest of them and uh, we'll figure out what else we're going to do. found something else to do I forget that uh, out here in front of the garage door we had uh, three three pallets half cord pallets of hardwood uh, that Karen stacked the other day um, so Andrew here is going to get it all shrink wrapped and we're going to bring that out back and get that out of the way that way we can get back and in and in and out of the garage you guys so we're going to get after that for a little bit In the background, you can see there's, geez, I think it's five pallets there. Those are all bundles, all made. That's, uh, I think one of the pallets I might have done, but the rest of them all been little Phil and Courtney coming over here and working after they get out of their jobs, getting these bundles all made up. So we'll have the, st the stands, we can just run over and get them loaded up quick. All right, you got that one already, don't you? All right, I'm going to shut the camera off while I run the tractor, guys, and we're going to get these out back real quick.
Figured I'd take you guys for a tour on the tractor. <laughs> uh, well, I think we're gonna call it a day, but I figured I'd show you what I had for, for wood stocked up in the yard here. We've been hauling pretty steady here for the last week or so. Um, let's see what I can do here. There is, uh, that pile over there is still all pine and same with that pile over there, that's all pine, and um, this is all maple, guys. So I want to get that split up pretty quick, and in behind it, there's probably another couple quarter of rounds all just sitting there. I know that stuff's good. It doesn't take long for maple to dry, but this last big pile um, that comes out, I don't know how much is there, maybe 20 cord of oak, but uh, that'll be going towards next year's next year's wood um, so yeah but all right well once again i appreciate you guys watching i know it's uh it's slow and <laughs> it's not real productive to to watch somebody with one hand but i do appreciate you guys still watching because you guys still are so we'll get back at it soon enough i mean it might take another three or four weeks here before I can really get back at it, but uh, we're doing what we can, and we're making it happen. As little as it is, it's it's still happening, but uh, all right, well, I guess until next time, you guys, you know, keep that smile on, because you'd be surprised where it'll get you. Get you a lot of places when you smile. <laughs> all right, take care, you guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.